Hey guys, today we're drawing the life of a very creepy monster, the Costume Man. As the name suggests, he's in a costume. His costume is a large teddy bear dress, but a scary one. I mean, who would not love to see a giant scary teddy bear, right? It's blue in color and full of fur. The costume has two antenna-like structures on the head. It has a large, round face. The body's huge and rounded, with hands and legs. His body is basically a huge teddy bear cartoon costume. Some nightmare fuel right there. Just that it does not look cute anymore. His face is blank and scary. His mouth is always wide open, as if he's trying to breathe in a lot. He's described as a blue humanoid bug. He's also called Mr. Mascot. This costume is double the size of a human being in height and weight. And if it's a costume, who's inside it? A human. A human monster hidden in a costume. Or the costume itself is the monster and it has no life inside. The costume man is always seen with a dead body. He'll be dragging the body behind him with one hand. The costume man has a sickening story behind his origin. He was once a normal human being working for daily wages in a theme park. He used to wear the costume of funny cartoon characters and interact with all the people who come to the park. We all have seen such entertainments in theme park. Kids will talk with them family will take pictures with them. The job of the costume worn humans is to entertain people by just being there around. So our costume man used to enjoy his job. One day he was in a large teddy bear costume, a blue one with antennas on its head. After some time, because of the hot sun, he felt uneasy and wanted to take some rest. However, before he could ask for help, the man fainted in front of everyone in his costume. Immediately, the park authorities came to help and took him away for giving first aid. As they were taking him, suddenly there was an emergency situation in the park. So all the officials were called at the place of requirement. So they told one park personnel to look after the costume man and all of them left. This person took the man to a nearby repair shed because they could not carry him all the way to any room or facility. In the shed, he laid him down and went out to seek the help from somebody. The person inside the costume was still unconscious. The personnel who went to get help told someone to attend to the person inside the shed. The person who was told to got caught up in other works and this thing slipped out of his mind. And the costume man was not attended by anyone. He was in that repair shed without anybody knowing. After some time, he got conscious. He was suffocating inside the costume, and he could not even get his head outside. And he realized that he's not able to move, and he could not make any noise. Basically, he was there, unable to ask for help, inside the costume. And everyone forgot about him. That day passed. The next day passed. And days passed by. The man inside the costume died inside the costume without water and food and mainly out of suffocation and heat he suffered inside for days and died a painful death after many days people noticed a foul smell coming from the repair shed some of the officials went inside and checked and they saw the smell as coming from an old costume as they further investigated the shocking truth was revealed there's a dead body there inside the costume and it was fused to the costume and was decayed immediately the body along with the costume was taken for post-mortem the theme park officials did an investigation of the incident internally and found out what happened however they were not ready to reveal this to the outside world or cause an issue they had to take care of the park's image so the news was hidden and nobody was punished for what happened. The story of the man who died inside the costume 
became a rumor which died out soon. At the same time, the postmortem revealed that the body was fused to the costume because of heat decay. He died out of hunger and trauma. The doctors had a hard time recognizing the body apart from the costume. After the postmortem, the body, along with the costume, was destroyed. After many days of this incident, they reported a case where a car was attacked by supposedly a big, scary teddy bear. The monster, like Teddy, was holding a dead body in his hand, and he tried to harm the person in the car who was driving alone in the highway. He somehow escaped the attack and reported the incident at the nearby police station. He also happened to take a photograph of the monster. The police were confused about what happened. They searched the site for anything suspicious. They studied the incident and could not find anything substantial. Within a few days, a highway accident was reported. The person inside the car was missing and the car was smashed to pieces. The next week, another similar incident was reported. Interestingly, the dead body of the person in the accident happened the week before was found in this accident location. This was a complete mystery for officials. With another similar incident, the police got a CCTV footage of what happened. The teddy-like monster smashes the car and kills the person inside it. He'll take the dead body and leave the dead body in his hand. This was unbelievably shocking. Further investigation revealed the incident happened in the theme park, and the park officials and the doctors involved recognized the costume. To everyone's surprise, the costume man was alive again. Or is he? Has he become a ghost? Is it someone who's using the situation to kill people in the costume man's identity? Nobody has a clue. What we know is that the costume man is out there to take revenge to the whole humanity who didn't help him when he needed them the most, who didn't care for another human being, who forgot empathy and a fellow being's pain. He wants to kill any human he meets. He has nothing to do with their dead bodies. He drags them around just to show how much he hates them. Once he gets a new body, he throws away the old one. We can't say there's a human inside that costume anymore. He's turned into a complete monster with no human feelings. We cannot deal with him considering the painful death he went through. We'll have to deal with him like he's a real monster. Very strategically. Studies are going on to find out more about his abilities so that a proper plan can be devised to finish him forever.